So welcome to Get Smart Quick. And my name is G Money and welcome on today's episode we're going to be focusing on something how to memorize, man. You know how to memorize. How to do that. And first of all, I want to like share a little short story. A short story. This is like I don't know if you can relate to this, but this is a short story. So it was, we're looking way back. Okay, so you know how it is. I don't know where a teacher or something springs up a test on you. And then you got to be like, I got to study for this. And then you, maybe out of laziness or procrastination, you, you, you take a long ass time. And then after you take that long ass time, you're like, hey, time is, is infringing on me right now. And then it infringes on you. And then eventually you notice that, I really need to. So you keep on writing. You rewrite. You highlight. I don't know how you do it. Probably you rewrite, you highlight and stuff. You reread the books and stuff. And you're like, it's here. It's here. And then test day comes. Test day comes. And that's where it hits the fan. And then you're going to about to put the pen. And then you're like, oh. But, but I found a way that can really revolutionize that. And then the way that I've actually found out that can revolutionize that is in the sense that, number one, let's ditch that style of studying, man. That's not studying. That's parrot free. That's parroting. It don't work, man. It don't work. Instead, what we should focus on is this. Step number one, if you want to truly have the ability to memorize and re- retain stuff in your brain is that the first thing you must notice and automatically realize is that it's going to require you to effortlessly re-review daily and constantly re-review and rewrite, but not in how you, you expect it. This is how it works. You'll, f- you'll create cue cards for yourself, something similar like this, something similar like this, like that. Create, you'll create cue cards for yourself, and then on these cue cards, you'll write, you write keywords. It'll almost be, almost think of like a talk show host. You create the cue cards, and then you just put the keywords, the keywords of each section. So whatever, if it's tourism, whatever, you throw the keywords, marketing, and all that stuff, and within it, you put the keywords, make them nice and small. Then after that, you want to, you want to design your cue cards, whatever, until it's the final version's perfect. Until the final version is perfect. When the final version is finally perfect, then you move on to saying the cue cards out loud. This is the interesting part now. When you say the cue cards out loud, you testing you you almost like a hit song, you know what I'm saying? Like you you looping it in your you're saying it out loud to yourself, you know, it's feeding, it's traveling, it's sharing itself into your mind. It's having all those that impact and stuff like that. It's sharing itself into your mind. So then after that, you keep on saying it out loud, out loud, out loud, out loud, out loud. Then after that, later on, you're going to say it again out loud without looking at your cue cards. If you, if you truly were able to retain the information, now every time you're saying it out loud, out loud, out loud, now you, you test it and then you look, damn it, I missed something. Then you course correct. You know, you course correct. After that, you take a nap or you sleep or, you know, power nap or something. And this is to create the neural pathways. So the video of what, of what you were seeing shares itself in your mind, you know, and, and, it li- and then the, the, the neurotransmitters like each other and they start, you know, vibing and tingling and all that stuff. So you, the point of this is to sleep so that it shares automatically and effortlessly and easily. So we don't have to make a conscious effort that puts a lot of strain and stress on ourselves and we can do other lazy things. On the side, but it's automatically sharing itself and going inside the memories, you know, and then boom. Then after you do that, the net the next day when you wake up, you want to you want to try and you know revise what you learned without looking at the cue cards, or maybe without, or maybe with, but preferably without. And you look through your cue cards, you look you um, you revise what you learned the, the previous day, and you test yourself. You test yourself. You test yourself. You test yourself. And then later on, you test yourself again without without looking at the cue cards. So this is how it goes. Step one: create cue cards with the with the keywords, with keywords on them. Step two: design it until it's the final version of these cue cards. Try making them small, you know. 
Step three, say them out loud. Step four, sleep, you know. Then, ah, my, my bad. Step four isn't sleep. Step four is say them out loud later on in the day to see if you remember them without looking at your cool heart. Step five is sleep. And then step six is that you recite them the previous day to in the morning, you revise them in the previous day to really test if it, the, the memories have shared themselves in the in, in your neurotransmitters and so you can remember much more better. And then step seven is later on, you keep on testing yourself without looking at the cue cards. And step eight, you start the cycle all over again. But here are some about some bonus facts for you. So this can so you can have an automatically and easy way of of you retaining information and also you being able to notice how easily and effortlessly it can soak into your mind and you remember much more quicker and much more easily so you can get the outcomes that you want so the first thing is keywords don't make the mistake i made like my mistake i wrote that this sh fucking down you know it's that's too much the keyword the name of the thing the keyword you know look at this this look like stripper money like stuff you throw at the strip Goes back to my next point. You want to cut this maybe in half or something if you're going to try something like this. Try like this. Keep it on you. Also, another thing. Try add color, bro. Like, try add bright colors. Like, in brand psychology and stuff like that. You add bright, bright colors. It really, it appetizes your mind. You automatically begin to notice that it soaks in much more easier than when it's black and white, blue and white, red and white, you know. It just effortlessly soaks in, so you can effortlessly feel much more better. And, you know, it just shares, it shares itself very easily in the ne uh, neuro uh, neurotransmitters, and they just, like, gel real nice. Next thing is, you maybe want to add symbols, you know what I'm saying? Symbols, so things can be remembered much more easier, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, like, you add a cross for one section, then, like, that moon with the star in the, the Islam. But this does not have to apply to religion. You can add those things. So those are common symbols, whether it's car symbols. You use that to try and remember yourself. You link that with symbols. And you're like, because everywhere, you know, even if you're not a Christian, you know that this is like, this is Christianity. And then apparently this is Satanism, even though this is how St. Paul died or something like that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is, you know, as well how other saints also died. You just add symbols to each section. You link it with some symbols. The next thing is you want to link to really retain information really good and effortlessly and easily, this one's a bonus fact. You want to really um, link this shit to your personal life. And each section, you can link personal life. It doesn't matter whatever subject it is. Try and force yourself to really link the, the sections you study to something emotive that really happened in your life. Like maybe you were disgusted or scared or something. You try and link that and you automatically notice that it soaks in in the mind much more easier, which makes it much more fun and, you know, much more fun and easy to retain and recall. Then the next thing is put your cue cards on stuff that you see all the time, you know, maybe on the back of your phone. This is why I say try and design maybe even smaller, you know, smaller. Then you can maybe do like the acronym. Is it acronym or acro? No, not the acronym. What is it called? Acrostic. Yes acrostic you acrostic you put maybe you know atmosphere and then the a and the the a stands for something in that subject the t the m try and make your acronyms nice and small but either way the point is try and put these cue cards and stuff that you see all the time so it can logically sync itself easier as you as you run through your normal day without you having to to re recall this and it and you'll notice you become aware of this how easy and effortless it, it makes your life much more because now you're not really actively studying you're just walking around and stuff oh snap oh snap oh snap you know so that is the easy and effortless ways of trying to memorize without constantly writing and wasting paper and having hand cramps dog the hand cramps but you know someone once told me sharing's caring and everybody knows what it's like to share something when you share something you share something because you learn a value and interesting knowledge about something you didn't quite truly understand many people share something because they find the value and how it can make their lives much more interesting 
and other people share something because they found it very informative and inspiring to able them to chase whatever they want to and you can find yourself feeling the need to share something for the reasons I mentioned or for the reasons that make sense to you. Thank you very much.